Welcome back, everybody, to my playthrough of Elden Ring. And as you can see, my um, character here probably looks quite different. As I said in the last video, I was going to reallocate my perks and switch around my character from a mage to a faith-based heavy swordsman, and I have done just that. So, let me just briefly go over the changes, and then we'll get started. Um, first of all, um, where do I start? As you can see, I'm wearing this crucible kind of armor. I got it from one of the guys, one of those crucible knights, but I think it was one of the guys underneath the earth tree at the capital. He was guarding, like, the underground area where, like, the body of the Lord of Death was or whatever. And I have, finally, the Guts Greatsword. The uh, Berserk Classic Greatsword. And it is quite impressive. And so, my entire character now is going to be, for a while, very strictly uh, just hand-to-hand, -hand, two-handing this big sucker. And I'll show you why. Um, if you notice up there in the left corner, uh, my FP is very low. Well, <laughs> I kind of forgot that um, all of the incantations require FP. So when I was switching up my character, I poured everything into strength, into faith, into and in, into uh, endurance. Endurance to increase the regular endurance of hits and, you know, my overall equip load so I could carry all this stuff without being you know, hindered or fat rolling. So, I can actually use a lot of the spells. I, I, well, I can use all of the incantations. And I'll show you what I've got. I have these equipped. The regular Great Heal. I've equipped the Elden Stars, which is what those Erd Tree kind of protector things use. This protection of the Erd Tree which uh, increases affinity damage negation for self and allies. I was already using this. Excuse me. Which increases attack and defense. And now I can use this, Wrath of Gold, to produce a shockwave. And I can use this as well, uh, which creates a giant fireball. Uh, this requires, you know, 42 faith. This requires um, the most 50. Oh, I'm sorry. This requires 41. And this required 50 faith. And I was looking down here at all the other ones, and I could use, like, these dragon ones as well and stuff. Um, and there's different things I can do overall, but I'm going to try with this lineup, and sure enough, I can actually use these spells. Even though I have such a very small amount of HP, I can use all of them. It just consumes half, at least half of my FP, I'm sorry, not HP, but FP to use them um, because I have such little. So from here on out, as I continue to level up, I'm going to invest everything into mind so that I can uh, raise my FP, which is fine because like I said, I'm basically going to function as a tank for right now. So no biggie. Um, and you know, I'll be two handing this. However, I do have, oh, oh yeah, by the way, before I forget this, seal I can now use. I did upgrade the seal to plus seven and so I can I can use it now. I needed 40 faith to use it so I'm using it now. Um, I have the sword or I'm sorry the shield. I'm using the crucible horn shield as well as all of the crucible gear that I've got. And get this I have increased the sword to plus 21. It does 363 damage, plus an additional 160. And if I two-hand it, it does an additional 223. As you notice down here, oh, here's the talismans I'm using now. Um, this is the same as well as this, but I equip this, which greatly boosts physical damage negation. Since I'm going to be getting up close and personal now, I'm going to need that. I reallocated my flask so it's mostly healing, and I've got an extra two for this. 
this I actually haven't changed up. I might change these two up on this one. But as you notice, I have several things equipped down here. I'll be using the throwing daggers for long range. Um, and I'm going to start using more pots as well as a few other things. In fact, um, one thing I used, created was this. I created both of these. Um, this turns my body into steel and this gives me more fervor. So all of these items that I can craft and use, now that I'm playing this kind of character and I don't have magic to rely on, I'm going to start using a lot more of these. So that'll be fun. I can also use these greases and stuff on my sword, uh, which works well. And I have the Mimic tier equipped because it consumes HP instead of FP, so that works out perfect. So it should be fun. Um, it'll be very exciting for a while. Um, to see how tough this sword is, and I'm a little nervous when facing bosses because with a mage build, you know, slash self, uh, spell sword, um, really I could kind of keep my distance with a lot of enemies, but now I'm going to have to get up close and personal, so it'll be really interesting. Really looking forward to it. So, uh, all that's done, yeah. And, um, we are actually going to do something... Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we test out this new playstyle with a good old-fashioned Volcano Manor contract. Let's continue this. And there's a, something else I want to do that we'll get into in a little bit. How do I go down in this valley? Is this the right way? Yeah. And we're going to face this opponent. So, a whole new playstyle. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, I finally figured out how to progress Nafali's questline. It actually involves Mr. Height at Fort Height and going back to Stormveld. So I'm going to try to trigger that because I think I've done everything else I need to do. But one thing that'll never change is Choo Choo. That's a good girl. Yes, you are. Choo Choo. Like, man, who in the world is riding on my back? So let's go down here. I'm <coughs> going the right way, yes? Okay. So I haven't tested this player, um, this playstyle out at all in combat. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to go. Um, we'll see. You know, see how much damage I can push back and see how effective I am. There's a wraith over there. Oh, there's a giant there. Uh, it's a bit further up. Let's kill this guy, I guess. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, you're dead. Why don't we face this giant for practice, yeah? Oh, there's two of them. Already down, I think. goes the count. Check that out. Man, he went down quick. I'm digging this. Where did you come from? Oh, that's still good. attack takes a little bit longer. Damn. And then there's a crouch that's like that. Which I kind of have to get used to doing during battle. I thought that went pretty well. I took out two giants pretty easily. Um, 
yeah. See, look at how much FP that used. That's a lot. By the way, let's go ahead and use a rune arc. Because I like using rune arcs. Alright. Um, this person... I hate the fact it's already getting nighttime. I wasted a lot of time jabbering on. Let's see how well we do. Hopefully we don't die. Oh my gosh. A lot of blood stains. Okay. Here it is right here. Kind of narrow area, but uh, let's see. Do it. First off, weak foe. Likely weak foe. Alright. Why don't we do... Um... No, this one. I don't know. Uh, I don't want that. There we go. <clears throat> Invade Rayla Idol's world. Oh man, none of this stuff might be equipped because. Ah, I forget I'm invading her world, so I don't know if my sword will still have that stuff on it or not. I didn't think about that. Crap. Oh well. Let's just see what we can do. No, it really doesn't. Who the hell are you? Oh, you're the opponent. Okay, so you're healing. Now, Relea. I should probably heal. Okay, well, that really was a weak opponent. That was the enemy, right? Post finger. Sure not. I got a rune arc and a finger thingamajiggy. Alright, well that wasn't too tough. The sword takes a while to swing, so it's gonna kinda get... You know, I gotta kinda have to get used to that delay. That's okay, though. <sighs> da, 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 da. Crip... Crippusus Vile. Black key bolt. What is that? Oh man, I didn't see what it was. Is it a key item? Crippus is fire. I didn't really get a good look at what that was. It might be a talisman. Right? Mm, no. It, maybe it's an item I can use. Let's see. It is not crap i'm gonna be looking for this thing forever it was it, it was like crypt pieces or crypsis vial something like that what would that be it's not a craftable item crapola I know it's not a spell or incantation. Is it? Oh, is it an Ash of War? Oh, that's right. I can equip Ashes of War to this weapon now. I forgot about that. Now, if I equip an Ash of War, can I still use the thingamajiggy? Like the greases and stuff? Um. I didn't. I forgot about the Ashes of War. I spent so much time not using them. And so now I just completely forgot I could use those on the sword. Um, man, I don't know what that was. Damn it. What the hell is this? Dragon Claw Shield. I don't remember seeing this. I could use it. I've got enough strength. Well, that's kind of cool, doesn't it? remember seeing this Man. so what I did do is I kind of equipped this at first and I equipped the whole uh, 
um, kind of this Erdtree warrior look. Like I was wearing uh, this helmet here, Tree Sentinel helm, and uh, I had the whole getup. It looked really cool, but I didn't, I didn't decide to wear it because I, I don't know. I'm using this great sword, and it just didn't go with the great sword very well. I even invested a little bit into a colossal weapon that kind of looked like it went to it with the outfit. But in the end, I was like, eh, I don't know if I dig this. I might switch over to it at some point. It offers more protection than what I'm wearing. I couldn't find that item. I'll find it later. I don't care. Um, let's go... Let's go to... Um, uh, let's try to complete this quest line for Nafali. I think I've done everything I need to do. Let's first go to Fort Height and talk to Kenneth, and then we need to go back to Castle Stormvell. I think I know where I need to go. Um, cause I, I didn't give her the potion. I gave her the hawk thing. I progress Kenneth Heights quest. I think I've done everything I need to do. I just need to, uh, chat with him because apparently there are some times that it doesn't trigger or whatever. I don't know. all these stupid demi-humans in here. I think. Alright. Blood Rose. Yeah, it's gonna take some while getting used to this playstyle. Okay. Equip an Ash of War and test that out. Hey, dude. I must begin my for a true and. All right. So he says the same thing. That's fine. But I just went ahead and talked to him again. And um, now we need to go to Castle Stormvell. Let me go back to the Source of Grace real quick and uh, try to test out and just equip a Ash of War. And see if I can still use the greases and stuff. I completely forgot about them, to be honest. So what Ash of War should I use? I mean, I completely forgot. There's like a buttload, right? Of like Erd Tree stuff, you know, holy stuff. Where's that Source of Grace at? Somewhere around here, right? Yeah, that's kind of the theme I'm going with. I don't have to, though. I could equip whatever I want. Um, what are we thinking? So, what do they do? Details? Wait. There oh no no no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um let out a bleat then tremble forward. Uh, uh, now that's what that's the one that's interesting right there. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so these are the only ones available. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. This is 
poison. That's interesting. Cold. I don't know. Let's try this one. Um. Now this would increase holy damage on it. It would take away the two-handing, or it would decrease it quite a bit. What if I did it like this? This would actually increase the heavy a lot. Because the heavy is 223. This would make it an additional. But then it would lower the base part. 223 up to 312. 360. Okay, so... Okay. Um... Hmm... Why don't we do heavy? So, now that that's equipped... It looks like I can still use the grease. That looks cool. It does use FP. But... Not a lot. I wonder how effective that'll be. And I can still use the grease. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, now let's fast travel to... Who is this? Oh. Um, but um, but um. Why is there a skull here? Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. I know, oh, maybe to remind myself to go back and kill that thing. Because I didn't actually kill it. Yeah, I forgot about that. Stormveld. So, I think we need to go to... Godric... Secluded Cell, maybe? I think that might be it. And... Nefali... Kenneth Height, and then that undead kind of gatekeeper guy is supposed to be here somewhere. Let's find out. <sighs> Back at the good old Stormvale, that dumb giant. Um, no, he's still there. Still hitting the body of Godric. Where do I need to go? I feel like I've triggered everything. to do hmm um um not sure now there was one other hint that I got I think resting at uh is it the cliffside chamber, I believe? Sitting here and resting here will do it? I don't know. Because... Yeah, they're all supposed to show up there. And it just... I don't know. He's still out here, though.
well, I don't know. Screw it. I'll figure it out later. Okay. Let's go, um... What are these skulls over here? Oh, I guess I haven't beaten this enemy yet. And there's this idiot on the bridge, too. Everything else over here is dead, though. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go back to the Volcano Manor now that we have, uh, killed that person. Is there an enemy here, too? Oh, this is, a uh, Ricard, of course. I have not beaten him yet. I could take another stab at him now. I was using the spear to attack him last time, so, I mean, hey. Hey, that guy's wearing the same thing I am. I guess he had it first. So, uh, I suppose he can, he can go ahead and have it. That's fine. He's gonna look at me and be like, hey, stop copying me. guy sells ashes of war wait oh I think I need to talk to her first right hello my mistress I have done your bidding I see you've performed another task for us here is your usual reward please take it he's so much bigger than that. serpent bone blade now Perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Earth Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> mm, interesting. So, the way she said that makes it seem like, you know, combat. But, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I just progress through the quest line, I would end up uh, finding another way to his chambers altogether than the way that I took. You know, maybe it's kind of like an alternate way to get to him. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. I mean, that's what she's saying. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> Let's check out the sword she gave us. Where are you? Here it is. Serpentine Blade. Need a lot more dexterity to use it. Sinister... Ooh, that looks cool. Looks like a giant fang. Sinister katana molded after serpent bone. Or that. The densely packed row of spines that jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. Interesting. Cool. There's still so many other play styles I could try out. Like, I saw one guy using two shields, one on each hand, and fighting with the shields. You can do that, you know? That's cool. It's just as my noble brother says. I'm a complete fool. I can't believe I thought I could become a champion. And then I saw another play style, you know? You can dual wield, or you could have a heavy sword in one hand and a light one in the other one. Or, you know, I mean, there's just so many different kinds. 
Hey, dude, what's up? Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. Perhaps I am a fool. No, what an easy mark. Damn. Got a thing new to say, dude? Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Letter to Bernal. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. Oh, wow, really? If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. Oh, cool. You're still alive, I see. So, you've got some interesting stuff. This one's new. No, I can't use it on the sword I've got, it seems. See, if I were to use this... Usable on... Oh, uh, well... Usable on shields and torches. I could use this on a torch? Really? Grants affinities. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, what good would it do? Let's get it. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Kind of wondering if it would boost my shield or whatever. Well, until we... Yeah, until we meet again. Um, so I have two letters now. Are they probably key items? The first is... They are not key items. Then they would probably be back here. The first is the red letter. Request from Volcano Manor. Um, disclosing the name. As the final request, the letter is a vivid red. So this is the last one. Juno Hoslow. Oh my god. Is that the guy who looks like, you know, Dracula, kind of, in the corner over there? He can be found in the mountaintops of the Giants. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. I haven't actually located that area yet. Juno Hoslow. Well, this guy's name is Hoslow, but is he Juno? Perhaps I am of no. What an easy mark. This is because he always says House Hoslow. What is it? What is this saying? Uh, it's House Hoslow is something in blood or something like that. So I wonder if that's his brother. He did just mention his brother, his noble brother. Maybe I'm gonna go kill him, his brother, because it would make no sense to to kill this guy here. I don't know. I say that. I don't know. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, so where is the red mark? Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. So once I get past the capital, it looks like it'll lead me up into the mountains where the giants are. Interesting. Well, then that's going to have to wait. And let's see here. Burn Hall. I'm disclosing... Vargram, the Raging Wolf, Errant, Sorcerer Wilhelm. Both men can be found in the royal capital of Lindell. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Uh, Vargram, the Raging Wolf, Errant, Sorcerer Wilhelm. Mm. The, lo the second one sounds familiar. I don't know, though. Uh, let's see. In Lin... Lindale? Limgrave, Kaled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I need to go back here anyway. Um, Vargram. That's Vargram. Where's the other one? See ya. Okay, well, we need to go back to the capital anyway. We have thoroughly explored the uh, underground where the dung eater was and all that stuff. Um, 
now, what we need to do is, I think, just go back on the main street and actually go up through the gate area here. Subterranean, underground, forsaken depths, catacombs. What's the closest part? West Capitol Rampart. That might be the closest. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. But we shall see. Yes, we shall. I see where I'm at. Okay, okay. There's the main street. Okay. So... How do I want to go about this? Now, there's this gargoyle thing over here that I'll have to fight. Um, there's that area down there. I wanted to kind of go down. I think I opened the gate. So, I wanted to go back down to the street and then go through... Um, which would take me out there, and then I could go around this way. But since I'm up here, let's go ahead and go this way. I guess I'll fight this thing. Um, can I summon? Doesn't look like I'll be able to. This is the same thing outside of the Bestial Sanctum. Now, will it wake up if I go over there to those things? Probably. Let's go. guy's pretty tough. Damn it. Hmm. 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 That's not good. Luckily, I'm right here. Uh, this way, right? Could try to summon some help here. But, uh, how close can I get without him waking up? So he's not waking up yet. What if I kill these things? Will he wake up? Sounds like he did. Thanks.
forgot about that swing around. Stuck on those eggs, dude. Gargoyle's Hellbird. Cool. Golden Seed. Nice. Um, let's check out the uh, Gargoyle's Hellbird. So I got two of them now. I got a black Hellbird and a regular one. Um, they almost say the same. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse wax, a patchwork of champions. See, wouldn't a cool play style be to like have both of those each in both hands? Like one in each hand? I guess, well he doesn't really count as a boss, but he killed me. He was my first big tough enemy with this uh, weapon. Um. So many places to go. Got one of these guys up here. Taking me all the way around, isn't it? I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm up here now. Hello. Um. Uh, I guess I'll hop down and get over there. Kills. Well, that item's gone. Crap. Let's see here. Big old tree. We'll take the ones up first. Because if I drop over there, I don't. I'm not sure how I'd get back up. And this is kind of freaky. Go back around and get that item. Yes. Oh, hey. Hey, we got each other. Tarnish golden sun. Holy grease. More holy grease. Oh, God. I thought I almost jumped off. Uh, I guess I'll have to hop down from this spot. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Oh god, okay. What's up, Pyong? Hmm, this is nice. Good luck. Why did it look like my health just went down? Like, am I seeing things? It looked like my health just decreased for some reason. First Elder Lord. Is this the main boss? Oh my god. Uh. Oh god. He's gonna kill me. Oh no! I'm 
still alive. Somehow. Somehow. Mimic tier. Get over here. Godfrey first golden, uh, first lord. Well, that was cool, but something tells me, I don't know, that was a little too easy. I mean, it wasn't easy, easy, but it was kind of easy. I mean, I killed him on the first try. He came close to killing me, though, didn't he? Several times. Um, yeah, he wasn't the main boss, though, was he? I mean, I feel like he was just kind of like this image. Like a shadow, you know, like kind of this projection. Not the main, main boss. The main bosses uh, all have like a cutscene. And then they have like a second gear. You know what I mean? He was tough though. I guess it kind of gave me a window into what the true... What was his name? Godric or Godfrey? Secret passage ahead? Liar ahead. I don't know. Uh, cool fight. I'm glad I didn't die. It gave me a lot of runes. I think I might have enough to level up. Let's see here. I indeed do. So let's go into mind and level up mine the way we said. So my FP can get increased. I may go back and forth between mind and HP. Just because I'm playing more as a tank now, you know? But I do need to get my mind up so that I can use more of these incantations. Because right now, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, not that great. Can't really use a lot. Oh, let's go over here. Wait. Okay, so that's where I came from. He was pretty tough. What are these things? These look like the wraiths, don't they? Look at them. No, they, they're those uh, finger readers. Whoa, all these old chicks are dead. What happened to you ladies? Item ahead? Don't you dare. I thought for sure he had killed me at some point. I mean, I thought for sure. I've got a lot of holy grease. Something tells me he's gonna be using holy damage. Whenever him and I really do fight. Um, so I don't think any of my spells are going to be useful. Wow, look at that. Oh, I'm almost there. There's the Erd Tree. I'm almost there, man. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So. Oh my goodness. I wonder where Milena is. My chick. That's her name, right? Melina or whatever? It's a big cup. Um, I could probably get up here. Let there be safety, and then likely tears. So this is how you get up here. Try center, and then left. Left required ahead. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, and that way... A little weird coloring going on there. That looks like it's going to be... Uh, yeah, that might be the main boss area right there. Let's go this way first. Still gotta go back down to the main street, though, so I might go back and do that, too. Looks like I can hop in this window. Get up there. 
Look at that dragon. Man, this place is so impressive. Is there anything over here on this side? Let's go through this window. I might have been able to come over here anyway. Cool. Erd tree bow. Now I don't have any kind of bow. I would actually be able to use this. Urtree bow. Hmm. Longbow featuring Urtree styling. In times of old, when faith and battle went hand in hand, this weapon was created in tandem with a golden arrow. Scales all arrow damage with faith. Ooh, I just increased faith quite a bit, so. Revealing its true worth when used with holy infused arrows. I tell you what, it wouldn't actually increase my equip load to have this equipped. Why don't we equip it along with a few arrows? You know, now that I have actually decreased my equip load... No, I can't do that. I could unequip that one though. <gasps> I have another talisman slot. Oh, I forgot I got the pouch from that guy, didn't I? Or did I get the pouch from the gargoyle? I don't even remember. I think I just got the pouch from him. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So this increases my HP and all the other stuff. So now I finally have my final talisman slot. Yes! So what I want to use, what I want to equip... What do I want to equip now? Um, hmm. That's a good question, actually. I don't know. This raises potency of incantations. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, let's see. This greatly boosts physical damage negation. This greatly boosts non-physical damage negation. So just having two of those, that way all kinds of damage negation are reduced quite a bit. Let's just go with that. That's a pretty solid lineup there, I think. Um, and do I have holy arrows? No. It said it used... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Where is it? It's right here. Um, holy infused arrows. Can I make those? Are these them? Bone arrow with gold tincture tip. It doesn't really say, but I think these might be the kind, right? Flinched bone arrow. Animal bone arrow with gold tincture tip. Is it is it holy? Like, is that what this is? I don't... I don't know. Magic bone, magic lightning, poison. Halig bone. What's halig mean? We'll try it. Um, these are probably more effective, I'm assuming. Maybe they go farther. I can make a buttload of them, too. This is times 10. So let's go with 10, 20, 30... 40. <coughs> I can only do... Because of the thin beast bone. Let's do 40.
So with a bow, I have to use both hands with it. Right? So I've got both weapons equipped now. I have to use both hands. around this way. Hmm. Celestial do. Let's look this way. Just going... Oh, whoa, look at that. Let's see that. How do I get to that? Perfect time to try out this boat. I don't think I could jump up there. Could I? I don't think so. Oh! Okay. Golden Order Principia. So what is that? key item. Look like a book. Oh, here it is. Give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations. Radagon's Rings of Light. Law of Regression. Cool. That goes perfect with my playstyle. Um. So. No, I don't want the bow on the back. Uh. Who's just supposed to be sitting there? Looks like a priest or someone. Just kind of... Floating above the chamber. In a weird way. Hey, message was a priest. Um, I could go outside... The city where the golden mask guy is and the other guy that I gave incantations. Or I could just give it to the turtle. The turtle will teach me, I think. Let's see what's down here.